Next block is L12. L12 is a modified block, so I am going to go to the booklet here. And they have taken the center section and expanded it to be the entire block. So I have my block set up here. And basically, the assembly of this is a, is a nine patch. So I have three rows with, you know, squares and stuff. So the, obviously the four corners are already done. You're going to assemble these sections and then assemble it in like a nine patch configuration. From a tag standpoint, I'm going to do my squares the way I always do with opposite sides on one and opposite sides on the other. For this, I am going to make my tags on the triangles go out. So that means I'm going to do the legs first and then the hypotenuse. That way the tags, if they're going in, they're going to conflict here with this, with this arrow system. So if I do these and then my tags will go this way on these triangles and then I can deal with this. This one I'm going to deal with the point. I'm going to base the points first. It gives you a more accurate point. And then I'm going to do the long sides after I do both points. So I'm going to assemble these units one at a time and then I can be able to assemble them into rows. So I basted all of my bottom row. I've got these things and I have a directional fabric. So I've got these little berries on the top that indicates the right direction of this. So I will make sure that, and I might, you can still see my label on this one, but this one, I, you can't see my label. So I will have to make sure that the little berries go in the right direction when I attach it to, when I attach the squares. So this is a non-directional background. So if I flip it upside down when I assemble these three, it's not going to be a problem but I want to make sure that when I put it into my thing that these are all the same direction. So as you know, I tape my pieces together before I stitch them. So I went to tape these and I try to place them as much as possible. And what I noticed was that this triangle is slightly, it seems to be a little slightly larger than the arrow. And this is, this is kind of normal. It's not really larger. What the deal is here is this obtuse angle is really hard to get exactly where it is. So the point is actually farther out than the fabric is sitting. So I didn't fold it exactly and it's really hard to do with the thickness there. So what you want to do is just center it, oops, center it best you can on these triangles. It will work itself out when you attach it into the block, but it's okay. It's not that the, the paper didn't change or anything. It's just the way that the fabric sits on the piece of paper that makes it look a little bigger. So I'm just going to center it best I can and sew these together. So I've attached my arrow piece to the one corner triangle. And actually you see that the, the difference on the sides didn't matter because it ended up working itself out here. But I wanted you to see that. So I'm going to attach this to the other side. So I've attached the other corner and so this square is completed and I'm going to attach these side squares because that's what this row indicates if you can see it underneath there and that will complete this bottom row. Okay so I've got the bottom row assembled so I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to work on the next row, which is three of these angled squares. So I will work on them one at a time so that I don't get anything crossed up because I have bumped this and everything went everywhere. So I'll just work with these one at a time to get the row done. So I got the three squares assembled for this center row. And that's my bottom row. So I'm going to put these together so that it makes the middle row. So I've assembled my second row and all of my little berry things are in the same direction as the bottom row. So I am going to assemble these two so I can keep them in the same direction and then I'll be able to get to my third row. So I've attached my bottom two rows to each other and all my little berries are going in the same direction. So I will set this aside 
and get to my last row. So I will assemble this square unit to then attach to the outside. So I've assembled and basted the top three squares and now I will form it into the row. So I have assembled these into the top row and I will connect them to my assembled other rows. So I've attached my top row to the other two that I've already connected and I want to make sure that all of my berries are going in the same direction and now my L12 block is completed.